Okay, hello. Hello, hello. This is a update on two things. First thing I want to talk about is one of the digital stores may be in trouble. Now, I don't want to go ballistic on this. I want to check some make sure the gas out. I want to make sure sound was good. <clears throat> so, if you're familiar with this website, uh, which is a DRM, not complete DRM free, but does offer DRM free theme and other stuff for that. And it was also, ironically, uh, the first place that uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, debuted before going to Steam. But, um, so news came out today from the owners, the people who bought, because originally uh, it was um, owned by the people who made Second Life here. And they got bought out last year by this company. And apparently just today, this company's owner announced that they're filing bankruptcy. Uh, I'm not sure. I've read a few different articles to get ID, I don't think. Yeah, this one doesn't list it. But there was a quote for the tweet that said that he could not answer questions at this time, but they are going bankrupt. And apparently none of the employees related to the company knew anything about it. So apparently it's a surprise to everyone. And tons of people, rightfully so, are freaking out. Because obviously anyone who buys games off the service could potentially, if it affects the store, if it affects the Because it is the owners, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. So I don't want to like, immediately freak people out. But if you buy from this website, you might want to consider getting all your DRM free games uh, copied and uh, copied and disked or fouled or hard drived or however you prefer storing your games and uh, any keys you have claimed, perhaps, or given away uh, is not known. The website has not commented on it. And a lot of people are freaking out about mainly because, see, apparently this year, the site been having issues, issues uh, sending out payments to developers, and they this uh, last month they've been talking about it, and they supposedly near the end of last month they started getting payments rolled out to people, and then they talked a little about, it. but uh, obviously those people who or now, um, kind of freaking out, it's like, because, you know, this was like, everything's cool, we're just having some problems in the team, and then we're getting things taken care of, so now people are freaking out, thinking that was a cover-up, and they might be trying to run away with money and stuff, and, you know, we, we don't honestly know what the hell is going on, but I, I just do want to throw that out, uh, there could be effects to this site, or this site might continue on, I mean, I, I would think they're making money. You know, we, we don't know how much legging the main company that owns them has. Uh, worst case scenario, that they completely go under, but I, I think there's probably hope that somebody will probably buy them. I mean, after all, when companies usually go, I mean, let, let's look at the company that bought Atlas. The company that bought Atlas filed for bankruptcy. They sold Atlas and got fucking money for the bankruptcy shit. I mean... I would think they would probably offer the website for um, the website uh, for money, you know, sell it off. Uh, also, supposedly a site called Indie Royal is also associated with this company. Uh, I don't think I've ever bought anything there before. Um, it's apparently something kind of like the Humble Bundle. So I would probably expect them to sell them off to someone else is what I would expect, but who knows. Time can only tell. But I just wanted to briefly mention that since that happened today. But the main thing today that I did want to talk about was that, guys and wolks, I'm a few days late on this. I wanted to do this initially on day one, but I just, oh, just busy with real life stuff. So, okay, so here's what Victor is doing, the famous walking design Victor. So instead of doing both, because if you, if you haven't, uh, found out, which I guess I never really talked about, uh, he had a mysterious game he was also going to do, which was Summon Knight 5, which um, we've never gotten a main entry Summon Knight, I believe. 
I believe we only got two of the Game Boy Advance spin-off games, which are Tales Whip Offs. Because the main entry summon night games are tactics games. And I think we got another spin off on the PS two or something, I think. But I as far as I remember, we never got any of the main entries before. So this was kind of exciting news actually for tactics fans. But uh he Summon Night five and Class of Hero three is still also coming. Now he decided instead of doing both physical demand things at the same time, he decided to do one at a time, and he said they're still working on... Apparently, they've been working more on Summon Night 5 than Class of Heroes 3, because uh, he was saying something on his form about, like, closer to a uh, finished product or something along those lines. So, similar to Class of Heroes 2, it's going to be a physical and digital bundle, and obviously, uh, this is a PSP, because it... I mean, he he been hinting about being a mysterious PSP title. So, uh, like, I believe it was like last time. I don't remember 100% sure if it was. But uh, he wants at least 6,000 copies by the end of the month, I believe. Uh, special mailing list, blah, blah, blah. Da, da. Yeah, approximately the next story day. So pretty much the end of this month, he wants to reach 60, uh, uh, not 60,000, 6,000. So, um, we'll get an update every, okay, but, uh, and also, just like before, uh, pay attention to that little bit there, because that was some confusion that happened with Classic Heroes 2, so, uh, keep that in mind. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna probably buy two, because it says down here the target price is thirty nine forty four. plus, uh, Five dollars for domestic shipping, so so that's not too bad to be honest. And he he usually puts a lot of nice little goodies, colorful guidebook and that. So I'd say that's definitely a pretty reasonable price in my opinion, especially for a tactics RPG game. You know, a text heavy game, you'd think it would also demand a little extra money for the translation and that. So uh, obviously, if you're going to be international outside of America. Uh, it doesn't say how much, but it will be additional. So, uh, yeah, basically, you know, if you want a, a what's going to be a very limited English release physical copy of Summon Night 5, here you go. As for uh, when he plans on doing Classic Heroes 3, uh, is unknown. He said uh, basically something like I said along the lines of waiting for it to be in a more complete state. So, obviously, they, they must have been working on this than that. Uh, but um, that is good news. That's good news still that they plan on doing it. And I think it is smart to split them up because if they were to do them both together, then, yeah, pre-sales when it's closer to the release. So, yeah, apparently they have some kind of idea of when they want to do that. But um, it's, it's, it's definitely... Um, Hopefully it'll reach its goal. I believe uh, I do remember him saying something on day one. They already reached a thousand, and we're on uh, the eighth currently of this recording. Hopefully this video will come out today because I wanted to let people know about this. Um, but yeah, it's all way on a pretty steady pace. So hopefully we can get there. I'm gonna probably get two copies, but not a hundred percent sure quite yet. Uh, it'll be a limited one if it does achieve the 6,000. So, you know, if you're a collector, it'll get out there. Anyway, that's all I have. Just a quick little thing. So I dragged on a little bit. You know I mean? I'm dragging my feet. I would know that. So, hopefully I'll see you all later. And uh, check out. Peace out. And hopefully you can grab a copy.